Hey, what's up, everybody? Eric William Hauser here, aka Waldo's Waltz on YouTube. Eric Hauser on Instagram, Bandcamp, SoundCloud, Tumblr, uh, Twitter, stuff like that. Waldo's Waltz on Tumblr, um, and Wix site and stuff. Time is 4:32 p.m. Uh, September 29th, 2019. It's uh, Sunday. I'm investing $332.40 in my stock market, which is currently down $2.92 or 0.87% today. After hours, it's down $0.15 cents or 0.05%. My buying power is $144.17. $144.17. These are the stocks that I have and some of them that I sold. Basically all of them lost money recently, but that's okay. Uh, yes, so. Anyways, I got Sprint. Sprint's at 605. Comcast is at 4481, it's down nine cents. I got Global Extrobotics and Artificial Intelligence. It's at 1975, which is down 18 cents. I bought and bought it at 1998 and I sold it at 1975 for 23 cents less. Bus provides market cap selected and weight weighted exposure to companies involved in the development and production of robots or artificial intelligence. Finalistic name for bots is Global X Funds, Global X Robotics, and Artificial Intelligence ETF. So I bought and sold that one. This is Finance, the hundred most popular, most popular under 25 ETF in 2016 IPO. Okay. So I lost money on that, but that's okay. So it's for like artificial intelligence and stuff. I got a uh, Limelight Networks. Okay. Uh, it's at 301 and it's down three cents. I bought it at 306 and I sold it at 301 for five cents less. <laughs> Software services, internet, North America, 100 most popular entertainment, most popular under 25, video games, technology, media, U.S. Limelight Networks, Inc. provides content delivery network services. Its products include digital, digital content and video delivery. So like movies and videos and stuff. Cloud security, so like storage. Edge computing, I don't know what that is. Origin storage. Original storage for data and support services like technical data and support. The company's solutions include real time streaming, file distribution, live video, and video on demand. Okay. So I haven't seen a commercial for Limelight. But maybe I'll make one. They're from Scottsdale, Arizona. Maybe they uh, f distribute to people there. It was founded in 2001, and the CEO is Robert A. Lento. It employs 563 people. So, you know, what I lose to employ 563 people? <laughs> five cents? I lost five cents to employ 563 people. Oh, you know, that was over the weekend. They're still employed over the weekend. Their business will be open on Monday for five cents. How about that? How about that way to look at it? That's psychology for you. So I graduated in. I lost money. Bummer. Maybe I'll earn it back later. I lost like three bucks. Right? Three dollars. About the price of this stock. Uh. Over the weekend. For all these stocks. Uh. I'm not doing well in the stock market. But look. The way I look at it. I'm employing people. For temporary points in time. And I get to play manager. Okay. With my money. I get to lose a little bit in sales, like working with people to support them, and that's the way I'm looking at it. What else did we get? <clears throat> Tiva Pharmaceutical. I want to keep this for the future, people. So, and I also want to encourage other people to do this, so that's another reason why I'm doing it. Maybe you'll do better than me. Maybe you're smarter than me. Maybe you just pick a stock and stick with it forever. Maybe you're not doing the day trades, okay? Maybe you're that kind of person. 
that kind of human, that kind of man or woman. Maybe you just pick a stock and you know about them and they make money. Maybe you just go with what they say to go with and it makes money and you just keep doing that. I started playing the top 100 and I lost money. Plus, I also... My recommended advice, if it starts going down, sell it. Unless you, like, definitely want to keep it. <laughs> That's the best advice I could give. Because I lost, like, 30 bucks on, on some stock. Because <laughs> I kept it for too long. Anyways. We got Tiva Pharmaceuticals. It's at 692. I got it at 708 and I sold it at 692. Okay? 16 cents less. What do they do? Chemicals, 100 most, pop, most popular, under 25, 100 most popular, medical, healthcare, pharmaceutical, health, manufacturing, technology. Tiva Pharmaceutical Industries LTD is a global pharmaceutical company which engages in development, production, and marketing of drugs, generic drugs, over-the-counter drugs, active ingredients for the pharmaceutical industries, APIs, and therapeutic products. Generates through two segments, generic medicines and specialty medicines. Okay. Maybe I'll get some of their stuff in the future without even realizing it. The generic medicines include segment includes chemical and therapeutic equivalents of originator medicines in a variety of dosage forms, including tablets, capsules, injectables, inhalants, liquids, ointments, and creams. <laughs> Founded in 1901, Israel. Wow, what? How did I buy that? I don't know. The company was founded in 1901 and is headquartered in Patach Tikva, Israel. Oh. CEO is Kare Schultz and the headquarters is Patach Tikva HaMarkaz and founded in 1901 and employs 42,535 people. Okay. So I lost 16 cents for Israel. <laughs> Whoops. That's alright. Billy Billy. <laughs> oh no. I lost 75 cents for Billy Billy. Who is he? I got him at 15.10 and they're less than at 14.35. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Hold on. Broadcasting software services, media, entertainment, internet. Shanghai. We lost lost 75 cents for Shanghai, Dad. How do you feel? Right? We lost it. What do you want to do? Billy Billy Inc. engages in the provision of content and entertainment experience. It covers genres and media formats, including videos, live broadcasting, and mobile games. The company was founded by Zhu Yi in December 2013. The Headquartered Shanghai, China. The Finralist's name for B I L I is Billy Billy Inc. American Depository Shares. CEO is Chen Rui. Rui. Headquarters in Shanghai, Shanghai. Founded 2013 and employs 3,033 people. Yes! We lost it. 75 cents. Bought it too. Well, there you go, China. We got JD. JD.com. It's at 2792 right now. Hold on. I got it at 2962. It's down to 2792. Today's return was 170. Negative. Negative a dollar seventy. So we lost a little bit of money on these on these weekend ones. What do these guys do? Internet, retail, software services, apparel, e-commerce, Beijing again. Okay. Quang Don Liu, Beijing, Beijing, founded in 1998, employing 178,927 people. JD.com Inc. is a technology-driven e-commerce company. E-commerce. So you could use it for internet stuff. It engages in the sale of electronic products and general merchandise products, including audio, video products, and books. 
Maybe you can get it online. I mean. Company operates through the following business segments. JD Mail and new businesses. JD Mail segment represents its core e-commerce business. The new business segment includes logistics services provided to third parties, technology services, overseas business, insurance, and 020, whatever that is. It also provides an online marketplace whereby third-party sellers sell products to customers primarily through its websites and mobile apps. <laughs> the company offers advertising, logistics, and other value-added services. JD.com was founded on June 18, 1998 in Guangdong, Liu, and is headquartered in Beijing, by Guangdong, Liu, and is headquartered in Beijing, China. Sorry about that. Misspoke. Sorry about that one. I misspoke again because... I guess I corrected myself. Anyways, the Finner listed name for JD is JD.com Inc. American Depository Shares. Employs 178,927 people Beijing, Beijing. So what did we lose? But what did we give them at the same time? All their jobs for $1.70. Okay? We gave them all their jobs for $1.70. Okay? Say a hundred thousand, well, hundred seventy-eight thousand people plus a lot of 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 the other ones. So, this is pretty good. Then we got Neptune Wellness. Uh, bought it at three eighty-two. Now it's at three sixty-two. Lost uh twenty point five cents. Whoops. Neptune Wellness Solutions Inc. engages in the extraction, purification, and formulation of cannabis products and provides customized turnkey solutions and special tea ingredients for the nutrition industry. <laughs> They're based in canna- Canadian global cannabis markets. Uh, patented ingredients such as Maximo and a variety of marine and seed oils. Five main areas such as legal cannabis products, turnkey nutrition solutions, ingredients, pet supplements, and consumer brands. I like the pet supplements thing. Uh, for, for bunnies. The company was founded by Henry Harland on October 9, 1998, and is headquartered in Laval, Canada. Laval, Quebec, 1998, Michael Kem- Kemarata. Okay? I learned about treats for bunnies, for cannabis, thanks to Neptune Wellness. And I lost 20 cents for them. But I paid them 20 cents to do it. And I got CVS. At 61.81. CVS! All right, I bought it at sixty-two fourteen. It's like sixty-one eighty-one. I lost thirty-three cents, but I paid them thirty-three cents to keep it open. So it's pharmacies, healthcare, health, U.S., North America, retail, hundred most popular. <laughs> Larry J. Marlowe is the CEO. Headquarters Wound Socket, Rhode Island. That's a great place. Founded in nineteen sixty-three, employing two hundred ninety-five thousand people. That's how many I'm employing right now for whatever I just lost. I don't care about it. Do you? It's like the price of a cheeseburger. We already got food. Why don't you pay somebody to do something like a boss? Live a little. CVL Health Corp engages in the provision of healthcare services. It operates through the following segments. Pharmacy services, retail or long-term care, healthcare benefits, and corporate. The pharmacy services segment offers pharmacy benefit management solutions. Retail or long-term care segment includes selling of prescription drugs and assortment of general merchandise. Healthcare benefits segment offers traditional, voluntary, and consumer-directed health insurance products and related services, including medical, pharmacy, dental, behavioral health, medical management capabilities. The corporate segment involves the providing management of administrative services. The company was founded by Stanley P. Goldstein and Ralph Hoagland in 1963 and is headquartered in Woonsocket, Rhode Island. The FINRA listed name for CVS is CVS Health Corporation. So that's what, that was what we got. Itchy, I gotta get out of here, but I'll be back tomorrow to buy some more stocks with what I got. See you later, people.